What is up guys, Pharmacy Game Session showing you guys an awesome video of Shogun Warriors or aka Jumbo Machinders video for you guys to watch and enjoy. Uh, for a lot of you guys that are getting into collecting Jumbo uh, Machinders, it's a lot harder now these days. Um, you know, even at my age, I'm 26, I'm one of the youngest in the crowd collecting um, Shogun Warriors or Jumbo Machinders is a very pricey hobby to get into guys. Um, so, I mean, you could find these out in the wild. It does happen all, all the time, but at the same time, um, they don't come up often, you know, because these are very old. They were trash. They were um, very big. And, of course, you know, back when the Japan years, they didn't have that much space, so people threw them away. Um, so they're getting harder and harder every year to find. Um, but they're still out there, guys. There's a lot of people that still have these in the garages, you know, at flea markets, yard sales. And of course, a lot of people on the Facebook group find them and they sell them online. So uh, some of the best ways to find these guys is through Facebook, eBay, or at Expos. Um, you could get them for really, really good prices. Um, but let's get started. Uh, we have two different variants here. We have the Popey on the left. And then we have on the right is the European release only. It was not released in the U.S. So this was what makes it a little more harder to find in the U.S. And same thing for Popey, where it's only released in Japan. Now, they did cross over. They did transport over here in the U.S. to sell these awesome Japanese robots. Um, so you can tell the difference of the models. As you can tell, I'm going to get a little closer for you guys. Um, but let's still talk about prices. Uh, prices do vary uh, depending on condition. Um, you know, depending on condition, you can find one of these for about 700 um, beat up without accessories, but complete like the way it is. This is a um, fully restored uh, grandizer. I'm still in this condition. It's from like 1,000 to 1,200. A very nice one goes for about 13 to 1,500 for a uh, grandizer UFO. Popey. So Popey is... Uh, a company that made just the specific kind of Japanese robots. Um, like I said, this is a European Mattel release, but only released in Europe. They're very common over there, but not common whatsoever in the U.S. So that's why it has a little higher price tag in the U.S. But um, let's show you guys the difference, and I'm very excited to show you guys. All right, so let's get closer on this Popey Grandizer from top to bottom. And then, of course, the European, which is very nice. And, of course, Gold Rack, the box complete. It's a very nice box. Let's show you guys that. So, really, really cool. So, you can tell there's two different variations on the box, on the on the accessories. So, these are a lot thicker on the, on the top. And then, these are way more thinner than the poppy ones, as you can see. Um, these do attach together. So these are all original. And then these guys are reproductions uh, because to find the original ones, they're gonna cost you a few hundred dollars. Um, that one's I think they sold for 250 just for these accessories, which is really, really, um, this is all original. This is, uh, they use this to make my reproduction, um, the ones I have right here. And I'll show you guys how that actually kind of sets up. So usually they do have, this one has magnets, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to pull these guys really quick for you guys. And then that's how they set up, guys. So really, really awesome. And then, of course, he holds it like this, but I'm one-handed, so it's going to be hard for me to put it one-handed. Um, this one, these uh, attached from the bottom, as you guys can see on this, they combine together which is really cool um so the difference between these two is these uh this one has a sticker on the front chest and in the front pelvic side and this is made out of vinyl and it's actually painted um either with machine or hand painted is one or the other and this is made out of plastic and this one's out of just a sticker on top of plastic so way way different compared to the popey one now the popey is well well made um that's why i think it has a really high price tag these are more wider compared to the mazinger legs on this one so big difference um very happy that i have both of these now this came off a person that found it out on the flea market gave it to me for an amazing price 
um, and was able to restore it. Now, to restore these guys, you got to be very, very, caref uh, very careful um, because they are very fragile and you don't want to break any pieces or damage it more than it already is. Um, so you have to know what to clean them with. So I do have a video coming up soon for the new rare Holy Grail that I just picked up of me uh, re uh, restoring it back to life. Um, so secondly, um, this guy does come in a saucer. Uh, which is super rare very hard very uncommon goes for a lot of cash which is like over i think the last one they were selling was like ten thousand dollars for the ufo um vehicle which is really really rare um this why this is why his head tilts to the back because when you tilt his head like this it clinches in and you put him in the saucer like this so you see how his head tilts pretty well that's the reason um, why his hell tilts, because they made a, a vehicle UFO for Grandizer, which is very, very sought after and very hard to come by. Um, and a lot of collectors are looking for that piece. Um, and there's only a few collectors that I know. There's one that I know that has it in the US, but the rest are in Japan. Um, but like I said, it's a very sought after top five rarest jumbo machinder pieces to get. Um, as this one, it doesn't, his head doesn't tilt whatsoever. It's just straightforward, just moves. And this one has no movement left or right. This one does, as you guys can see that. So there you guys go. I'll show you guys the box. It's American and French. Um, the best way to get a boxed uh, Grandizer or Gorak is uh, from the, um, you, I would highly, you would always find them Overseas um, through overseas eBay and they go from five hundred to Seven to nine hundred dollars depending on the condition of the box um, This came off a collector with this one. I sold off my extra one For I think like 350 and then I got this one complete. I kept the stick got this complete for hundred and twenty six dollars Now that was a rare rare find it came off a Facebook person that was probably in his 60s already uh, maybe uh, a little less young younger I uh, was getting old already. We didn't want to collect anymore and he sold it to me for what they went for back like maybe 10 to 12 years ago um, and He said give me 120 bucks 26 bucks shipped and I got it for hundred and twenty six dollars guys Complete in box with that plastic on it, which I still have it to this day. I just got this about maybe three weeks ago So that was a very rare find a really awesome gem from another collector to another collector um, so like I said guys always get to know the community and you never know who's gonna hit you up with a really awesome deal that you cannot pass up This is one of those rare deals that I couldn't believe it happened to me And now I have a fully complete go rack grandizer from Europe exclusive only So that's one of the reasons I have them in my collection This came off like I said another person that found it for me and asked me if I wanted it and I couldn't believe what I got it for restored it and now I have a really rare uh, UFO Grandizer. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video guys. I hope you guys learned a little bit of uh, Jumbo Machinders um, and just in case you want to purchase your own Grandizer. There's a lot of ways to do it and what you look for um, When you do buy one and what to pay for um, For a loose one, you know a loose one for this one of these guys will cost you from 200 to three complete you're gonna pay at least close to four hundred dollars so like i said take your time be patient you will find them um and thanks for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like the button down below and feel free to leave any comments guys i would really appreciate it i'll be happy to answer any of your guys questions and thanks for watching guys